Hey everybody, Tim here for a Drunk Nerd video. Lower Decks, Season 2, Episode 7, Where Pleasant Fountains Lie. Two storylines, both almost the exact same, realistically. Like, how do we trick other people? I'm gonna get it right out of the way, super excited. The return of Jeffrey Combs. He is like the number one Star Trek actor. God, he's done, what, three or four roles in Deep Space Nine. He did a role in Voyager, a role in Enterprise. So, uh, this is like his sixth, seventh role. Like, he's he's a big Star Trek veteran. Absolutely amazing. And I'm super excited to see him break into this. He plays Am Amicus, the computer, which, I don't know, there's so many computers that just try to take over. Like, it's going all the way back to the original series. And they make the joke at the end where there's just all these different computers. So, well, since we're talking about that one, we'll get that one out of the way. We're, so Boimler and Mariner are trying to, like, escort this computer, which they don't know. And they crash, and neither one really trusts each other. It's great. There's a lot of little fun jokes. And just how do they not trust each other? Now, I guessed pretty early that Boimler was using the computer, but... Like, evidently, Mariner didn't get that. I was like, that's kind of weird. Like, I feared she would have gotten it. And so when they finally get to that part at the, the Daystrom Institute, which, again, goes all the way back to early Next Generation, I was like, that's kind of fun. Like, they, they played the joke, and he's like, you were just connected to the dimmer switch. That's it. Like, you were never connected to our actual computer. So, overall, I did have a lot of fun. A lot of good jokes, like the, um, what's the difference between a phaser and a phaser rifle? You gotta use two hands. Stuff like that, absolutely loved. The other big story is Billups, who is the chief engineer, who realistically, this is episode seven of season two, has been a very minor character. And we finally get to learn more about his people and how he basically lives in a renaissance fair. And they call, like, elf things and dragon things. And he just has to get laid to, like, su succeed his mother and become the new leader. Now, if they had blown it up and, like, his mom died and stuff like that, and he was like, I'm going to take the throne, I might have bite it. But the fact that they killed Runifer, I instantly, I was like, no, nope, this is fake. This is fake as fuck. And sure enough, like, there, there's the big scheming twist of, like, trying to trick people. I did absolutely love, like, how to lose his virginity, there was both a man and a woman there. Like, they did not segregate. And, like, the first Star Trek bare ass on screen. And I was like, that's kind of interesting. So, I, I did love that. And basically him just like, screw you, no, I want to stay in Starfleet. Which, that itself is nothing new. I mean, this is the lower decks version of, like, Luoxana and Counselor Troy. But it was just kind of fun to see him. Like, no, I don't want to have sex. So, overall, I did love it. I thought it was a great episode. Curious what you guys are thinking. Go ahead and let me know. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And I will see you guys next time.